Yes, there's no songs in this one. I just, you know, I, I've realized... There's no way to make uh, everybody happy. And the reason is, if you have songs, uh, people go, well, why are you even remaking it if you're just going to remake the whole thing that's exactly like the animated movie? And if you make them without songs, people who fucking love the songs apparently get real ornery. Hold on. Hold on! Kick this son of a gun out here. What am I doing? I want to make it clear. I did not cry during Aladdin, okay? I, I tear up in a lot of movies. There's no doubt about that. I would never deny that. But Aladdin did not get me. Nor did it come close. And you should believe me. Because I obviously have no reason to actually lie about it because I told you I cried in fucking Black Panther. I don't know if we have a Kangaskhan yet. Let's let's give it a try. That's not a freaking Kangaskhan, dummy. It's a Rhyhorn. Right, whatever. Same shit. Why is the one without the horn the one called Don? Anyway. Dude, I'll tell you, like, I'm, you should believe me when I say I, uh, I don't cry during a movie. Because I'll tell you just, like, embarrassing stuff about my emotions when it comes to movies. Everybody else, here's my impression of every other man my age when they critique media. It was okay. I'm like, it was... No one has ever made anything as emotionally impactful. There is still, like, uh, honestly, like, if I think about it hard enough, um, the memory of some moments from Endgame is enough to get me, like, a little bit... Not teary, necessarily, but, like, I'm, like, inspired. Did you cry when you watched Your Name? I cried both times I watched Your Name. I cried when I saw it in theaters. I cried when I watched it on Blu-ray. Gets me every time. <laughs> what is this, the Stone Age? <laughs> Did you cry when you watched Room? Uh, I didn't, but I really, really liked Room. Room was really good. It is, yeah, Kragoth. It's like that. It's like it, the final... It Without being any, like, spoilery whatsoever. But, like... The final act of, uh... Of Endgame is just like non-stop moments that are like, you know, 10 years in waiting. I'm being 100% sincere when it's like, uh, you know, like I'm not tearing up because it's like, oh, this is like the most emotional thing is ever on, you know, ever put to film. It's more like they've been setting this up for so long and then they're just like, Pay off, pay off, pay off, pay off. Dun dun, dun dun. And you're like, this is it. it. They've never made anything more incredible than this. Hold on. It's a dragon type Pokemon. Yeah, the music is so. Did you guys <laughs> see the the tweet where they start with Google Earth and it like it's the whole Earth and then they zoom in on like Italy and they zoom in on like the city in Italy and then they zoom in on the intersection and then they go to Google Street View and look at the car while the Avengers theme is playing it got me so good 
All right, whatever. Mega evolve me, dude. I don't know. Hit him with the hit him with the stab attack, brother. not very effective. It's because it's a water type Pokemon, dumbass. It's not? It's a is a dragon with water moves? Whatever, it's the same shit. I don't know, dude. Dragonair and like Dratini, Dragonite. They're cute, but they're weird, dude. Like it's like, okay. First is a little uh, blue serpent. Then is a blue serpent with a choker. Then it's a big orange doofus. I like it. I just don't. I don't necessarily get it. Wiggly tough. It's a fairy type Pokemon. I have no idea what works well against fairy type Pokemon. Steel, really? Well, good enough. All right, I avoided the attack. I also did not cry during Spider-Man, by the way. I don't cry during every Marvel movie. I lived. No, I'm with you. Like, the, the movie was very good. And, like, hold on. Fighting type? I get it. Um, the set pieces are so good. Like, the way that they... Uh, they made Mysterio work in that movie is very, very well done. It's a great movie. If you're into the Marvel stuff. I keep sending you out here. You don't have a psychic attack. <laughs> Every time. Let's try Dazzling Gleam. It's super effective. All right. I do still think um, Spider Verse is is better. But I think Far From Home and Homecoming are both like real close together. It's been like an insane run for the Spider-Man property. Like it's nuts. Between Civil War, Infinity War, Homecoming, the PS4 game, Spider-Verse, and uh, Far From Home. It's just like, it's non-stop slaps. And Venom? Well, you know. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so no comment. Venom is pretty fun. I mean, I heard... Uh, I heard critics did not like it. But a lot of people... Uh, a lot of enthusiasts enjoyed it. Which makes me think I would not like it. Because <laughs> for the most part, I tend to side with the critics, honestly. Whenever there's... In almost all circumstances, if there's a movie that's like... The critics hate it, but the uh, audience loves it. I'm like, I'm probably gonna be that critic. I'm gonna be that guy. I'll be the justice. I'll be the guy who hates Justice League. It's not an uncommon opinion, but 
Oh shit. I, uh... And when in doubt, send out Ruka. When in doubt, uh, send out Ruka. But also, what I was gonna say is... I, you know, when it comes to the... Audience score versus critic score, I tend to... I tend to end up agreeing after seeing something more with the critic score than the audience score most of the time. What about Watchmen? I mean, Watchmen does not have a bad... Uh, it, it doesn't have a bad critical reception. It has a decent critical reception. Your normal or ground, I don't know, is bone ground? <laughs> He's ground? Okay. I mean, nothing about this guy looks normal, but... I meant to use Waterfall or Splishy Splash. Instead, I used Floaty Fall. I got confused. What about John Carpenter's The Thing? I feel like you're just asking me how I feel about The Thing. Which I believe is both critically well-respected and, you know, from an audience standpoint, is beloved. And from a me standpoint, it's beloved. It's a great movie. One of my favorite movies. Top... Top 25, at least. It was panned by critics when it came out. Prove it. Have you ever seen Children of Men? Uh, I saw Children of Men. In theaters. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. You know what? That's a source from Wikipedia. I'll accept it. Max Revive? Max Revive? Max Revive? <laughs> it came out the same month as Blade Runner and E.T.? That's a great month for, for science fiction. Good lord. E.T. isn't that good? Look, E.T. is pretty good. It's, it, admittedly, it's a general uh, audience it's is fun for the whole family. Nobody's favorite science fiction movie of all time is likely to be E.T., but E.T. is pretty good. Let me guess, you just healed all my Pokemon. Yeah, there you go. E.T. is a, is a crowd pleaser. That's a good way to describe it. Oh, this is a tough one. Onyx, can you get out of the way? Have you seen Life? It's basically like a worse alien, but still okay. Um, check this out. I saw Life in theaters. Weird flex, but okay. And I felt exactly the same way. I was like, this movie is obviously not a classic. <laughs> But it's fine. And I, if anything, like, I kind of, uh... I kind of miss... Uh, I, I feel like there was, like, a 10-year period, 15-year period when I was, uh, younger, where a lot of, like, you know, one-off science fiction movies came out, and... Oh, thank God. Uh, in that sense, I liked, uh, life on a meta sense. I was like, you know what? I like, I just like science fiction movies when they're at least competent, and that movie was competent. 
How was Star Wars A New Hope in theaters? Um, how old do you think I am? <laughs> I think that movie came out in like 1977. Well, my favorite movie was, uh, uh, Train Comes at Screen, and the audience is very confused, and they all scream and run. Electrode. Alright. How was Chicken Run in theaters? Yo, I didn't watch Chicken Run in theaters. But I did see it in, like, seventh grade. We watched the VHS. It's a great movie. Why not? Actually, you know what? I think we should actually send out Machamp because he has Earthquake. How was the Dark Knight Rises in theaters? Dark Knight Rises was fine. Seeing the Dark Knight opening night in theaters, though, that's like one of those... Uh, it's one of those movie experiences that you're like, oh, this is pretty special. Because nobody knew how good it was going to be. People were just like, you know, Batman Begins was... Really good. I don't I don't even like Batman Begins that much. But like, you know, it was much better than the Joel Schumacher ones. Then when you're watching uh, The Dark Knight, you're like, holy shit, dude. The Joker, he's, he's one step ahead of the game. Every single time. How does he do it? I don't understand. He had the phone stitched into that guy's stomach. He had the boats rigged with the... He had the he had Harvey Dent and Rachel both on the roof simultaneously. How did he do it? Which is why it's kind of like a bummer that when you saw... Well, look, if you, you like what you like, right? But if you... Uh, Saw the Dark Knight Rises in theaters. Really left the Dark Knight Rises being like, it was okay. It was a horrible. Bane was was fun. Body. Also, another one was seeing Inglorious Bastards in uh, in theaters. That's one of my uh, one of my favorite movie circumstances. Having no idea what was coming, and then it's actually I don't know. I don't want to say it's four movies in one, but you get the idea. Every once in a while, you see something in theaters, and you're like, this is a, a special movie. I mean, there's only it's happened to me, I don't know, under ten times in my whole life. Inception was another one. Like, when I saw Inception in theaters. I know it's like a meme that, you know, Christopher Nolan... Oh, he's done it again, Christopher Nolan. The only good director. But seeing Inception in theaters, I was like, no, oh, this is... He's changed the game. I saw the happening in theaters. That could be his own special, uh, his own special situation. Oh, Endgame and both Endgame and Infinity War absolutely were up there. Sure, let's fight. Let's do it. Dude, how long? We've been playing for 50 minutes. Let me out of Victory Road, please. I saw Knowing in theaters. That's, that's baffling to me. I did see District 9 in theaters. It's a great movie. <sighs> J 
Cheeks lived. No, I will never again, uh, I will never see another Ridley Scott Alien movie in theaters. I, he will never get my money directly. Indirectly, I've watched, uh, Alien Covenant probably like five or six times. Once on an airplane deliberately, and then a lot of, like, just mindlessly having it on in the background while I'm folding laundry. I went through a big laundry folding period when it when it had its run on the movie channel. Um, and every time I watch it, I'm just like, what are you... What's happening? But also, it's kind of fun. But, uh... I mean, I've told this story before, but dude, I was so stoked for Prometheus. I would, I would go to bat for Prometheus as having, like, one of the best trailers of, like, the 2010s. That trailer got me so stoked. And it, it's like a little Game of Thrones pre-season 7. They're setting up mysteries. And, you know, you're they're, man, they're going to answer all this stuff. And it's like the kind... It looks scary, but also like unique science fiction. And then, you know... Kind of just wasn't. I, I, there's nothing worse than like being excited for a movie and then like you get that vibe like half an hour in and you're like this kind of sucks but like maybe it gets there <laughs> maybe it sucks at the start and it 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 starts to get better as time goes on and then like an hour into the movie you're just like nah i'm out The, my problem with Prometheus, I don't necessarily want to get like that into it, but it's like... I am one of those people that is like, the way that the scientists behave in that movie is unforgivable. And then people who defend it may even genuinely have a point. Where they go, well, they just got cheap scientists for a mission. They weren't really trying to get the best of the best. They were trying to get people who they could easily uh, manipulate into doing stuff that would actually help David's agenda, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But as soon, and this is like a universal truth for me in like any media, as soon as you have to go outside of the movie to explain uh, something that doesn't necessarily make sense, I'm like. You might be right, but that doesn't make it satisfying, I guess. Yo, that's a tiny Rhyhorn, dude. Never mind, he was spawning. Body. That's a shortcut. You know, that's a good way to describe it. You can come up with an, expl an explanation, but none was provided. And if it's a situation where it's like, um... I don't know, I'm trying to come up with the logical explanation for what I'm about to say. If it's a situation where it's like, you know, maybe something wasn't explained deliberately on screen, but you can make an inference that makes coherent sense with what's happening in the uh, movie, that's I'll allow a lot more leeway than that. But if it's just like, well, if you use your brain, actually, you would understand that the Waylon Yutani Corporation uh, was deliberately trying to take bad scientists on the mission. Then I'm like, you know what? Maybe the whale on Yutani Corporation sucks. <laughs>